reality and all of that. Yeah, okay. I just want to say to you, Deputy, my background and where I grew up and what we had to put up with was far different to yours. Okay? I just want to make this point. I didn't, I didn't interrupt you. Interruption, please. Don't you dare lecture me. Okay? I understand the realities of life as well as anybody else in this house. And I don't intend to understand it more. But I know a thing or two about people being in difficulty and challenging in their early lives in terms of cost of living and so on, and in terms of backgrounds. And I am saying to you that the most comprehensive solutions that have ever been tried have been adopted by this government in Housing for All. Now, we need cooperation across the board at every level. And if politicians really believe it is the crisis, then they should behave accordingly and stop objecting uh, in a serial manner, in a serial manner, to housing project after housing project because it doesn't fit some ideological framework. That is not good. And equally, I would say this much. Equally, I would say this much. You can't have it both ways. You can't be talking to the private sector privately like the Deputy O'Brien does and sort of say to them, I'm all for private investment, by the way. Don't listen to the guff I go on with or the sloganeering that Sinn Féin goes on with. There's a, there's a warm house for you two here when Sinn Féin gets back into power. And that's the sort of both sides of the Time mouth behaviour that's been going on. I'm willing, to work, I'm willing to work with all parties in this house because this crisis is too big for politics. Please, please, it's not enough for parties just to simply try and exploit a crisis for their own electoral gain.